All right, folks, welcome back to the show that no one asked for. We're doing it. I'm your host, Joe Hartzler. And to my patrons, right off the bat, I want to say thank you very much for subscribing. Thanks for supporting the journey. And I know I'm still figuring it out, and I missed two weekends in a row. Let me explain. The last two weekends I spent filming and editing, and I failed to get it across the finish line. I, did, I couldn't Sully Sullenberger. I couldn't land the plane of the edit of the video. Look, I, I didn't get it done, but since I'm on a positivity kick, we're gonna try to reframe that as a, you, you know what? I started two different videos and I have opportunities for new, for, I, I didn't get them done. Today, I wanted to discuss something that I received in the mail from my good friend and a Patreon page that I support Chris Stables. Give him a warm welcome, everybody. I got this great album in the mail I'm very excited about. It's called Cloud Souvenirs. It's the latest release from Mr. Chris Staples, who I'm proud to say is my good friend, a very talented musician. And what's interesting about Chris is I was a fan of Chris before I was a friend of Chris, and that's always a little bit weird how that happens. Um, but I've since gotten to know Chris a little bit and uh, our paths have crossed quite serendipitously many times over the years. And so I wanted to throw a little support his way because Chris has been very encouraging to me over the years and he's a very talented person. So I wanna recommend that you check out his Patreon page. He's making some cool stuff and he encouraged me to keep my Patreon page going uh, even though I was just about to, uh, to give up. I just wanted to show off a cool album. I'm excited to listen to this but I can't listen to this and let me explain why. Because I don't own a record player. The record player that I owned is in Los Angeles along with all my records. But they're being closely managed by Scott Bell. Hi, I'm Scott Bell, I'm willing to eat the food. More on Scott Bell coming up in just a little bit, but first, let me talk about why I don't own a record player. I guess I just told you because my record player is in Los Angeles. So I find myself looking at the Audio-Technica LP120X USB. It's a direct drive system. Some people say there's motor noise. Some people say that's not a thing. There's also the Fluence RT82, RT83. There's an RT85 with an Ortofon Blue or Ortofon Red. There's all kinds of options once you start looking into something, but I don't own either of those, but both are sort of on my wish list. But I'm going to continue not listening to this record, and I'll tell you why, because I don't want to spend the money on a new record player. Right now I'm focused on long-term goals, so I'm appreciating this record from afar for the time being, until uh, such time as it, it seems appropriate to purchase a record player. You know, I'm already getting some joy out of just owning the record. It's nice to have a piece of physical media. Chris, thank you for sending this my way. Uh, and everybody go check out his page. Let's get into some announcements. First of all, tomorrow I'm filming a dirt bike race. I know that my content is at its best when it's not about me, it's about other people. And I think this will be a step in the right direction. Coming up at the end of June, Scott Bell. Hi, I'm Scott Bell. I'm willing to eat the food. Is coming to visit the chat house, and uh, I'm sure that's going to end up with some cool content. Hopefully, we'll do a live stream. And also, we're planning an exciting trip to the birthplace of William McKinley, America's greatest president. Also, one more announcement. At the end of July, I am filming a television pilot. I'm acting in it, and I'm also acting as an executive producer. Very excited about this project. I don't want to say the name of it yet or who all is involved, but I got a few very talented people involved from Los Angeles, and uh, it's pretty interesting how this one came about. There you go, maybe acting's not dead. So lots of things to look forward to. Okay, act two of the show no one asked for. You know, a turntable is not the only thing in my life that I find myself wanting. I also want a battery-powered lawnmower because frankly, I mowed with a weed eater this week and my back hurts. I need a teleprompter, you know, because I'm like looking down at these notes and it would be really nice if I could just read off of a screen the exact words that I want to say to you. It'd be so much easier to edit, but I don't own a teleprompter. And that ties into what I want this segment to be about. We're calling this segment Stuffed. This segment is called Stuff. It's about the stuff that we have. One of the things I realized when I left LA is I was overwhelmed with 
stuff. I have a, a problem that I think many of us have, which is spending too much money. You know, I, I find myself, I'm working all the time and I, I don't have as much freedom as I would like and I'm trapped only as much as I'm addicted to purchasing things as a consumer here in the 20, what, what century are we in? So yes, I would like to own a turntable to listen to my friend Chris's new album, but I would also like a battery powered lawnmower so I don't hurt my back when I mow with a two stroke weed eater. I would also like to own a Weber Q1000 grill, a gas grill. I would love to go outside, throw some burgers on that bad boy, because frankly, when I cook in the house, my entire house smells because there's no kitchen vent. And that's another thing I want, an exhaust when I'm cooking so my whole house and everything doesn't smell like fricking bacon grease. Yeah, I've been eating a little bacon. What else do I want? I want a new couch for the living room because I gave away the futon. And I gave away my lazy boy. Okay, here's the plan. I'm gonna go for a run and when I return, I'm gonna explain why I gave away my furniture. Uh, donated a futon and a beautiful lazy boy, but I don't want to be a lazy boy, so <laughs> I'm gonna go for a run. We'll chat when I get back. Out. Oh, I think I made it worse. Okay, six miles. That's six miles. I gave away my furniture because it no longer vibrates with me. When I first moved back to Ohio, I had nothing and I needed some things. And so very generously, people gifted me a futon and uh, a Lazy Boy recliner. And since that time, I now have a job. And I decided, you know what? I'm gonna pass along that blessing and I'm gonna make room in my life for new blessings to enter. Why did I give those away? Because I'm creating space in my life. I'm getting rid of things that no longer vibrate with me. We're all collecting items to donate to the big landfill when we kick the bucket, and I wanna make sure the items I'm collecting, the items that I'm surrounding myself with, are items that are gonna be valuable, cherished, useful tools. Things that are gonna enrich my life. Not that a gas grill wouldn't enrich my life, but what I'm really realizing is that a lot of these objects they represent a lifestyle that I want. You know, all the outdoor gear that I look at, the apparel, you know, the grills, the record players, what they really represent is a lifestyle that I would like to achieve. As I'm plotting out my financial course, I'm realizing that foregoing some of these more immediate wants, I think I could potentially achieve more long-term financial goals that might allow me to have something closer akin to the lifestyle that I want. My list of wants is endless, but my list of needs is actually quite small. I need to prioritize what is really necessary and forgo what would be nice to have. I bet the tunes on that album are freaking awesome, but when I get a new record player, they're gonna be just as awesome, if not more so. Long-term plans, blah, 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 dirt bike race. Okay, I don't even know if we've captured anything remotely resembling a video. These are just some thoughts that I've been having. The past two weekends I did film and edit all weekend and I, I, I didn't get done with the videos I wanted to get done, but uh, I'll get done with those videos eventually. So this weekend I'm gonna get done with this video and then tomorrow I'm gonna to go film dirt bikes. And that's gonna be awesome. One thing now that I would like to come to you with, my patrons, my subscribers, I would like to ask you, I would like to, to put a poll out there. And here's basically the question, what is my channel about? You know, when I was in Los Angeles, it was about a struggling actor. Have your mom make you a fart sandwich and then you cut that thing in half and stick a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it was about fighting the good fight. Ooh, touchdown dance. It was about what it's really like to be a working actor. Mm. I love yummy sandwiches. Cut. I love yummy sandwiches. I, I love yummy sandwiches. And action. Mmm, I love yummy sandwiches.
Now that I've left Los Angeles and I've largely abandoned acting and I'm just like working full time, what is my channel about? I find that most successful YouTube channels are about something. They're about filmmaking or gear or music production or gardening or lawn maintenance or fail videos or firearms or backpacking something. What is my channel about? I've known this for a while. It's It's been a growing problem ever since I left Los Angeles because now it's not about acting. It's not about improv. It's not about, I don't know, skateboarding in LA. Now my channel is just about sort of like a middle-aged white guy complaining. Every day is a chore. Not very compelling stuff. So I ask you, what is my channel about? What is the content that you would like to see in this world? Should I be doing filmmaking gear reviews? Should I be talking about improv comedy? Should I make a video about how to never be late for work? I realize that my videos, my content tends to be at its best when it's not about me, when it's about other people. And I think the dirt bike race tomorrow will be a step in the right direction. I think Scott Bell's visit in June will be a step in the right direction. I think filming a TV pilot in July, and taking along maybe for that uh, journey, I think that will be a step in the right direction. What is my channel about? Let me know in the comments. And again, I want to thank you. Those of you who are supporting my Patreon, I appreciate it. I know I haven't quite figured out what that thing is, but I'm going to keep making things until I figure that out. All right. I hope you're doing well out there, everybody. I'm going to go pack my things and get ready for a dirt bike adventure. Man, I wish I was racing in the dirt bike race. That would be even cooler stuff. Thanks for watching. I hope you got something out of this. And let me know, what is my channel about? What would you like it to be about? You know, maybe I should just keep kicking stuff down the stairs and, and that should be it. All right, I'm gonna go edit this. It's gonna be a nightmare. Peace.